Right, so here we are, Gallery Inspiration. Uh, this is where we're going to do the arts and craft workshops uh, and the wellness day. So come in, check it out. Meet Doug. Hi, I'm Doug. This is the Inspiration Gallery. Free, intelligent, inclusive, active, social, ecological. Awareness. You should come to breathe. We have artists from all over the world here. We have uh, Fernando Lazo, who's a Costa Rican artist. Her, she's a beautiful Azteca. Uh, some Japanese calligraphy by uh, Yuki, who's from Japan. We have uh, prints on wood by Nick Kiefer. He paints these, and then he's taking the prints and, and sanded them a little bit. And then he embellishes with little bits of detail in the, in the images. And we also have uh, these masks that we're making made out of plastic bottles. So we are recycling plastic and then painting the masks and uh, selling them for 5,000 colones. All right, so uh, in the Breathe, event that we're having here in Costa Rica in Santa Teresa. I am going to be running a workshop uh, with a more specific explanation and very detailed explanation of how to make these masks so that anybody anywhere in the world can find a plastic bottle and make a mask out of it and sell it or give it to their loved one. I'm going to show you how I make masks like this out of this. Uh, the ones with the, the bottles with the uh, little grooves in them is better because that's where you get the uh, indent for the eyes. And what you basically what you do here is you take a bottle, cut off the bottom, cut off the top, and then you cut the back. So one eye goes there. It's basically a cross cut. One eye goes there, cross cut, the nose, and then the mouth is a cross cut. As you can see with the, the mouth and the lips, is when you cut and fold it out, it already forms lips. With the eyelids, I put an extra piece of fabric to cover the little divot that happens in the cut. And then with the nose, I put another piece of fabric. After you push out the nose, you have empty holes here, so you put a piece of fabric over that to cover it. Then you uh, sand and gesso it, and you can paint it however you like. So basically, it's a great thing to be able to clean up your community and at the same time be making art. You know, it's like how many times you've driven down the street looking at all this trash, thinking, God, you know, you walk down the beach, you see all this trash. It can become such a beautiful thing rather than ending up in the Pacific Gyro. You should come to breathe. <laughs>